What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Torian and Rain Reloaded channel. If you are new, make sure you go to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video, comment, share, and all of that good stuff. So today, as you can clearly tell by your screen, I will be talking about Wells Fargo. And it's not because I'm telling tell you about, you know, how good of a bank it is, because one, I'm not banking with Wells Fargo. And after this one, you probably won't want to bank either. Not because of the shady things that they could be doing with your money, but because of their shady business practices. So what has Wells Fargo gone and done now? Well, apparently, according to sources, one of that I'm going to read, they were basically scheduling fake interviews with black people just to say that they interviewed them, but not give them the job. In other words, they pulled a Brian Flores. Now, in case y'all are not wondering or confused when I said that Brian Flores was the or is the now former head coach for the Miami Dolphins you know it was a whole big controversy and scandal a few months ago surrounding around that in which he got fired from the Miami Dolphins and he basically called out the NFL and was going to pretty much take this to court and you had some NFL team saying that they gave him an interview only to turn out that they really never were planning on hiring him at all or give him an well I'm, let me put it this way they gave him an interview knowing that they already had someone hired for the job they just basically said we're interviewing you because we have to we're obligated to do it even though we probably don't want to do it fast forward to this this is exactly what wells fargo was doing they were interviewing black people they keep they say minorities but they highlight black people they hot they were hot they were interviewing black people for a position they already knew that they had filled but they were doing it because of they had to meet a quota of people who were non PC to interview for the job. Basically saying we'll interview you, but it's not going to guarantee we're going to give you the job. But the thing is, if a job is already filled, why are you going to interview for that position? Why would you still have that out there on such as on a website, your website saying we're looking for these positions, knowing that they were already filled? That's just a waste of time. But they did it anyway, and they got exposed for it. So now I'm going to go ahead and read this article. It says, Wells Fargo state staged sham job interviews with quote unquote minority candidates for positions that had already been promised to others, according to a former executive at the bank who claims he was fired after complaining about it to his bosses. So you have someone on the inside who had an issue with it and he got fired. They got fired for it. Well, he got fired for it because he complained about it. He he got off cold, quote unquote. Joe Bruno, who was an executive in the wealth management division at Wells Fargo's corporate offices in Jacksonville, Florida, told the New York Times that he was dismissed last summer as part of management's retaliation for flagging the issue. So this guy actually did a good thing and he got removed from his job as an executive in a in the wealth division which seems like a very good division to be in because he actually quote unquote snitched which lets you know wells fargo has been doing this for a long time but he exposed it bruno said that he told his superiors that the fake interviews were inappropriate morally wrong ethically wrong according to the times the post has reached out to Wells Fargo and Bruno seeking comment shares of Wells Fargo were trading down more than 1% as of 11 a.m. Eastern time on Thursday. Wells Fargo claimed that it let Bruno go for retaliating against a colleague. That's what they say. The time cited Bruno and seven current and former bank employees who claimed they were told by their bosses to interview a set of quote unquote diverse candidates, even though they had no realistic chance of landing the job. The sham interviews were instead designed to make the bank appear as if it were striving to diversify its workforce so that it wouldn't land in hot water with the government regulators, according to the Times. A Wells Fargo spokesperson told the Times that all bank employees were expected to follow hiring policies and guidelines. The nation's largest mortgage lender has an informal policy to interview minority candidates for open positions to the extent that individual employees are engaging in the behavior as described by the New York Times. We do not tolerate it. The spokesperson, Rachel Burton, told the Times the claims made against Wells Fargo will put another dent in the bank's reputation, which suffered a hit after it was fined in 
eye-popping $4.5 billion by the feds for its fraudulent account scandal. The public relations difficulties have not hampered the San Francisco-based bank's bottom line. Wells Fargo earned $5.8 billion in the last quarter of 2021, easily beating Wall Street estimates. For the full year, Wells collected $21.5 billion in profit or $4.95 per share. Sales for 2021 came in at $78.49 billion, a 5% increase over 2020 when the bank reported revenue of $74.26 billion. So that's the entire article right there. Before I get into a shout out to this Joe Bruno for actually putting it out there what it is and to be honest many of us probably already knew what the, what was going on when it comes to big banks like wells fargo it should be in some cases not surprising and i wouldn't be su- surprised if outside of banks as i've displayed and gave you the brian flores example with the nfl that if up at other jobs they're doing the same exact thing they're basically holding what they call staged interviews with non-white candidates who might uh, actually apply and not apply qualify for the job and only to be told we know we're going with another candidate what it really should have said was we already have another candidate we're just bringing you in to waste your time and they probably laugh as the person leaves the office like this idiot this fool now they keep mentioning you know minority candidates and whatnot but the title of the article actually said wells fargo stays sham job interviews for black female candidates but you know they had to throw in the minority because it said black comma female didn't say black female with no comma so you know they always like to throw black people in that minority and they and they throw female in there as well but let's be real here i bet you if you wanted to break it down by race most of the people that got shammed by these fake interviews were most likely black no matter the gender but you know they gotta kind of fluff it up a little bit and not make it seem like it's targeting one singular group of people i get it by now at the reading some of these articles i get it but you know it is what it is i didn't write it so i'm just going off of what they're writing but i can read between the lines if you get what i mean but yeah, like I said, I'm not surprised that Wells Fargo has done this. And I'm not surprised that, you know, if it got exposed, that other jobs, even jobs on a lower level than working at a bank, does the same exact thing. Now, watch Wells Fargo pull one of these moves. And if they don't, that'll surprise me. But many jobs do this when they're in hot water when it comes to situations such as these. Watch, they're going to come out and say, oh, we've just hired our first black for this position in this role at this bank. And by this bank, I'm talking about Wells Fargo to try to cover up their tracks for what has transpired with this situation right here. You know, to basically, uh, like I said, to cover up their mess, basically trying to put a band aid on a flesh wound. They've done that so many times before and they could, and they still continue to do it. They are not surprising anybody when they do that. But yeah, Wells Fargo, you can hold this L. You can hold many L's, but you can definitely hold this heavy ass L, this billion ton L. But this is going to be one of those stories that's probably going to get swept under the rug and people are going to forget about it and they're going to go on as business as usual. Like, And they're probably going to continue to do it. They're probably going to continue to do it but they're going to be extra careful this time. If they were smart, they would stop doing it since they got exposed. But like I said, if this guy did not expose this, this would have been continuing to go on at this particular bank. And they said this was in Jacksonville, Florida, I believe. Again, Florida. But that's just one Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo is an international bank. But let's just focus just on the states right quick. The 50, you know, the 50 states in the U.S., how many other Wells Fargo's locations are doing the same exact thing? They might be on pins and needles right now. But, you know, they got exposed. But that doesn't mean they're going to stop. They might throw some people, some of their employees, a little extra in their check to keep their mouth shut if they see something. 
you know, they always try to say, if you see something, say something. And it's mainly PC that loves to say that. Yeah, they that that doesn't apply to them. That's if you see something, say something. That's basically the nice way of saying snitch. It really is when you put it, boil it down. But they're not talking about them. They're talking about everybody else. And this guy who I'm going to put in the thumbnail so you'll see who what he looks like. He got off cold because this Joe Bruno guy, he's a PC man. This was not any other group of men that, that did this. This was a PC man that went and said, look, this is what they're doing at this bank. And I think that it is wrong and it, that it is wrong. And it is wrong. Why string somebody along knowing you're not going to hire them? If you already knew that position was already filled, either you don't keep it on your site that we're looking for this position or you just wait until an opening happens and then you put the job back out there or another position and then do another hiring process. But to hire another group of people that was most likely PC and then bring people in to interview them for a job you knew they would not get. That's messed up. These people took time out of their day thinking, oh, wow, I'm going to go and get me a new job and all this, that, and the third only to say, oh, with the, um, um, you didn't, you didn't get it. Not because they weren't qualified, but because you knew they would not have a chance in hell of getting it because the job that they're quote unquote hiring for was already taken. And you knew that. So that is messed up and it is unethical and they, the, the Wells Fargo or any place that does something like this should definitely be held accountable in some form or fashion. And that's my take on it.